Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. At six o'clock, it's time for a Magic Live. Now today I'm going to be performing a routine I published about 12 years ago. Uh, it's a variation on Open Travelers or um, Invisible Palm Aces, um, but with a bit of a kicker at the ending. Uh, have a look at it. Let me know what you think. I absolutely love this routine. Um, so, um, I have a pack of playing cards. And uh, for magicians that really care about this sort of stuff, it's pretty much a shuffle deck in use. I'm going to take the uh, I'm going to take four cards out now. Normally, uh, you do this with the four aces, but I don't have four aces in this deck. Uh, I've been using this for various different routines and things have got signed and torn and so on and so forth. So instead of the aces, I'm going to use the uh, the ace, the two, the three, and the four of spades. It should work just as well with the ace, the two, the three, and the four. So. Hopefully you guys can see this. This one here is the four of spades right there. There it is, the, uh, the four of spades. And uh, this one here is the three of spades. Uh, this one here is the two of spades. And finally, this one here is the ace of spades. To be honest, as long as you know that we're using the ace, two, three, four, that's all that matters. Uh, I'm going to show you how magicians cheat at cards. And I'm going to use these four cards as an example. I'll put one down there. That leaves us with these three here. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to palm a card. Now, it's very easy to palm a card. First of all, what you have to do is get the card into the get ready position. This is the get ready position. Now, once you do that, you come over and you grab the card in your hand. Now, it's very important that you don't leave anything sticking out over the top of your hand. You want it completely covered. That's why you need fairly big hands for this. Uh, so you take the card and you hold it like this. Now, uh, a giveaway here is this thumb. Do you see where the thumb's sticking out? That's where the expression sticking out like a sore thumb comes from. Keep your thumb in like this. And uh, nobody will know you've got a card palmed. Now, if somebody does say, hey, you've palmed that card, you shift it into an invisible palm. This is an invisible palm. When it's an invisible palm, you can't see the card at all. But if you want to bring it back, you just uh, you just put it somewhere like on the table. And that's when the card comes back. Now, you didn't know what was going to happen. I'll do it again. It leaves us with two cards over here. We've got the ace and the two. And two cards have already gone, the three and the four. So let's do it again. Um, what we'll do this time is we will use the... Yeah, we'll do this. We'll, should we do this or should we do this? Yeah, let's do this. So once again, you know exactly what's going to happen. You put it into the get ready position. You come over, you palm the card. Once you do, you keep that thumb in there. You transfer it into an invisible palm and you're done. And when you do that, you just rub here and you can transfer the third card across. That leaves us with one final card. Now, the... Uh, the last one happens to be the uh, the two of spades. So this is going to be the last one. Let me just pop these all the way over here out of the way. Now watch the two of spades. You know exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to leave it face up on the deck. So you know the second I do the palming move, because when I take it off, you'll, you'll see. You'll see. Now watch this. I just take it. I transfer it into an invisible palm. When I, uh, when I get an invisible palm, I just rub here. And that's when it goes over there as well, which is a pretty cool trick. Of course, I was lying to you the whole time. I have to be honest with you. I was lying to you the whole time uh, because I said I was using the ace, two, three, four. And that was a lie. You see, the only way you can do this trick is if you're using the one, two, three, four aces. And that is the routine. I'd love to know what you think. I love that kick up. Uh, at the end, just after the thing that all the magic's over, you go and do a four ace production. But I'd love to know what you think. Le uh, let me know down below. Leave a comment uh, and let me know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to uh, like the video. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. And I'm going to be back again tomorrow with another Magic Live. I'll see you then. Thanks very much for watching. My name's Craig from Magic TV.